growing up, Michael was always serious minded. He had a special chair he liked to sit in, cross his legs, fold his arms, and he looked like he was pondering and trying to solve the, the problems of the world. The rest of his brothers and sisters was out playing somewhere, not him. His sister used to call him a nerd. <laughs> and, and, uh, but when he was 14, he told me one day he was going to be the first black mayor <coughs> in Denver. And, but uh, unfortunately, uh, Wellington Webb <laughs> was the first, first one. But he, that didn't stop him. He kept right on going. He really came to uh, my sight and to me knowing Michael as he became more and more active in the community when he served as an intern for Mayor Pena and then he applied and was selected to be the youngest executive director for the Metro Denver Urban League and, uh, and then we began uh, working more closely together and, uh, and I saw him as a person that was very much dedicated to the community and, try, and, 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 and making a difference in that regard. We both went to Manuel High School, as did, uh, as did my wife, Wilma. And, uh, and we like to think of the fact that Manuel High School is very special because of not only the uh, legislators and city council members that uh, attended Manuel High School, uh, but also four graduates of Manuel High School also became mayors of major cities. I met Mayor Hancock when he was 18 years old. And at the time, he was head boy at Manuel High School. And I myself am an alumni of Manuel High School, go Thunderbolts. Uh, as soon as he walked in my office, I knew that this was a very special young man. He so impressed me with his confidence and he knew who he was. He knew what he wanted to do even then. And he told me he wanted to be the first African American mayor of Denver. And I was then committed to support his goals and his dreams and I believed in him. And we've been friends and colleagues and advocates for social change uh, ever since then, and that was over 32 years ago. What I'm most pleased about, most significant for me, is that um, I worked very hard uh, during my term to create the Denver Health Authority and to have an institution that would serve the vulnerable populations of Denver and the state and that Michael has continued the support from the mayor's office for Denver Health which is that which I think is so important. He is very fun but he's also can be very quiet and thoughtful and reserved who loves to read books and just be at home with his family and you know that quiet side of him I don't see, think a lot of people see that in him a lot. He has a wonderful sense of humor sometimes a little bit too much. He plays a lot, but for the most part, he is a big kid at heart. He was huddles, and so he had to wear the whole big suit and the big head and, and everything. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And I actually knew him then. <laughs> and he's a big kid. He enjoys what he does. And, um, you know, that makes a difference. Every day when you wake up and you love what you do, and um, and helping people. Um, he is a wonderful public servant. He's pushy. <laughs> He's uh, controlling, but uh, in a good way. I look to him and my mom, but I look to him as a role model. Um, if he's been through everything he's been through, I can take what he's given me growing up and continue to strive for what I want to be and do in life. Congratulations to Mayor Michael B. Hancock for receiving the Wellington E. Webb Award for Outstanding Achievement in Healthcare and Philanthropy. Well deserved, my friend. Thunderbolt, congratulations on winning the uh, highest award for Denver Health, the Wellington E. Webb uh, Award. Uh, it is well deserved and on behalf of the uh, Foundation Board and the Denver Gala Committee and the Denver Health Authority Board and the chairman of my board, Wilma Webb, we want to thank you and congratulate you for all you've done for Denver Health.
Congratulations, Dad. I'm very proud of you. I love you infinity times infinity. Congratulations on this awesome, amazing award. Seriously, I don't have to tell him because he knows. He knows how much I, I respect him and I love him. And, well, he knows I always have loved him. He's my baby boy. And <laughs> that's, that's what he calls himself.